the welcome ad brought mm. to you by our friends at Mike's Computer Shop. Let's get into it. I don't know if it was malicious. Probably not. But I do know it was another WTF moment. My question to ownership would be, was it worth it? And the architect, and I use that term loosely, given there wasn't much architecture, more finger painting with this team. It's like the running of the bulls in Pamplona. You know someone is going to get hurt. That's what you all need to understand here. Right now. It's something unpredictable, but in the end was right. <laughs> you may know that lyric from the modern day poet, Billy Joe Armstrong, Green Day. That song, Good Riddance, has a context of its own here in Vancouver and across British Columbia, dating back one year ago today when Bell Media changed formats on the 1040 AM frequency CKST. Now. I said on the show Monday that I didn't plan to mark February 9th as an anniversary. There's nothing to celebrate about a community institution being shut down for the bottom line of a telecom company that announced tidy profits shortly thereafter and were later found to have taken federal government pandemic money. So I'm done looking back. And I guess that's how I conceived any show or even a show feature or mention about this date, this anniversary. But Blake made a good point as we were sitting around here discussing today's show. It's about looking forward. It's about what sprung from that dark day. And, of course, manure makes great fertilizer. We've kept our partnership together, Blake, provided opportunity for Jeff Patterson's unparalleled coverage and voice on the Vancouver Canucks Integrated Jeff with Andrew Wadden, who has taken the next step in his career hosting a daily show. Brock Kurt Apple will be back from Kamloops to hit switches, conduct things in the producer's booth. Our friends, Donnie, Dolly, Ryan Henderson, with a daily two-hour show at Czech Television. And what a terrific model Czech is. My hat is off to the owner, operator, employees, and they're all one and the same over there on the island. Great job. Today we talked to the Moj at Super Bowl. And in my BC sports media world, the Moj is at Super Bowl. Handing out the Cubans, rubbing elbows with celebrities, and flying our country's and our province's flag at the biggest sporting event in our hemisphere. Chantel Chand, Rob Fay, started their own media projects. Projects I'd encourage you to support two extremely talented people. Saw Chantel hints. At a new venture coming up, mm-hmm. too, so look forward to that, Chantel. Now, not everyone remains in the media business. In some cases, that makes me very sad and angry. In others, it's probably for the best. As we've always said about sports media, great jobs, shitty business. There is more stability to be found in other industries. The important part for you, the sports media consumer, and there is no one more important in this equation than you, the sports media consumer, is that your coverage is being taken back and directed by people here on the ground in Vancouver. By the community, for the community. No more Toronto, with one notable exception. And we sure hope expansion of that coverage continues as independent media outlets find their footing, establish their businesses, and are able to invest in the product. One year later, not predictable, but in the end right. Not sure about you, Blake. I'm having the time of my life. And that's Welcome Out for today. We invite your feedback. Feedback channels as follows on email, live at securesomeprice.com. You can text 778-402-9680 778-402-9680 to the Great Clips inbox. Great Clips. It's going to be great. On Twitter, at Matt Sakaris or at Sakaris and Price. And the welcome out of presentation of Mike's Computer Shop. If you're a computer enthusiast, if you're a gamer, you're going to want to check out Mike's Twitter feed. At Mike's Comp. They've got all sorts of cool product there, but not to mention Giveaways. Contest. We did a big one with them a couple of weeks ago. So follow at Mike's Comp on Twitter. And if you really want to dive deep and look at all the product, all the wares, and if you're a gadget guy, boy, can you spend some time at Mike's Computer Shop 
dot com checking everything that they have to offer. So check them out there. Also, their bricks and mortar stores in Chilliwack and South Vancouver. Yeah, sometimes uh, time grabs you by the wrist and you know directs you where to go. Um, so you make the best of the test and you don't ask why. It's not a question. A, Did you not ask why? It's a lesson learned in time. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Um, and and that is the the thing for whoever chose the song. We understand what you were going for. The lyrics aren't that bad. The it's, title of the song is where really where it's it hits. The title. It's where it hits. Uh, good luck to everybody um, who is out there. And uh, hey, some have latched on to the major media outlets uh, still because hey, you don't turn down a a, a good job offer. So to no. to Mike and Jason, obviously uh, the best of luck going forward. Renaldo Sai over at uh, at the Canucks uh, in house. Mm-hmm. Um, so we we still see you know lots of people making the best of it in major mm-hmm. media. So Karen and Karen's yeah. had something happen in her life here that's made it difficult for her to work. But I saw Karen a few weeks ago. Karen Sermon. So comeback trail hopefully for her in the not too distant future. So. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, hopefully everybody feels mm-hmm. like they've got some direction. Um, and right. uh, we wish the best to everyone. I will say this Kletchy is using his time on Twitter magnificently these days. He's never been so spicy. <laughs> he has never. been fantastic. Uh, He's like a butter churner in absolutely. That, like, Twitter. Uh, shout out to my fellow Scotsman over there, Mr. McClatchy. It's funny, you mentioned good riddance. And I haven't told a lot of people, that you, you know this. and those in our in our orbit here and uh of course if we're talking about this venture then we cannot say a big enough thank you to rob and natalie reese over at go goat sports and of course Mm -hmm. our yoda rob gray show developer who was one time our boss back at 10 40 and uh it's been marvelous collaborating with rob again but so i named my company good riddance media And I didn't do so out of spite or anger or anything like that. I think I told this story maybe back in the spring, but I'm I'm not positive. I had a really overwhelming peace come over me as I was driving away from 969 Robson for the final time with all of my affairs in the box. Because we were allowed to go and gather our, our affairs and I mean, I'm only across the bridge in kits, and I'm going, if I don't do it today, I'm not sure when I'll ever do it. And so I went on over and just grabbed up my personal affairs. And I was driving back across Burrard Bridge, and I had, because as you know, Blake, I can be a fiery guy, an emotional guy, and all of that. But I was hit by like an overwhelming sense of peace, and I still to this day can't really describe it. Uh, but I sort of knew it was going to be a new beginning, and I wasn't sure what that beginning was. So I've used good riddance as sort of a, not necessarily the literal definition of it, but just it it has its own meaning to me about the next phase in my professional life. My 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 company's called My Show Media. Is it really? Yeah. Did you go with that in the end? Yeah. Okay. Not My Show, My Show, My Show? Too long. <laughs> People get it. <laughs> uh we did a little video today. Again, I, I, I wasn't planning to do anything on the anniversary today, but, you know, Kurt said, oh, it's going to be all over social media. You're going to have to do something. Grady Sass, our social media manager, said, guys, you got to do something on it. And so, okay. Uh, but as mentioned, the sports media consumers, who, what really matters. Here's Cindy from Langley, and Cindy has been such a staunch supporter of ours. And I'll read this, but really I think it could apply to a – A lot of the messages that we're getting in today, and thank you so much for those messages. Tell me I'm wrong, Cindy says, but I don't think you two and the guys at Rinkwide have the real numbers on how many lives were affected a year ago today. And she's absolutely right on that. I know that we, the listeners, did not lose our jobs, but we were thrown into a silence we'd not had. It was a road in the pandemic I wasn't prepared for without my radio. Forever grateful for how fast you pivoted right back into my life. It's the anniversary of a dark day, but you guys have sure been bringing brighter days. Thank you, and uh, boy, thank you to Cindy. Starting to go, getting a, a little emotional here as we check the great clips inbox. But 
she's right in that, Blake. The number of messages we got a year ago today from listeners, and in some cases, people who had never messaged in the past, right? We're just a passive listener somewhere out there in yeah, Western land sure. yeah. had never submitted to tell me or not, had never texted or emailed or called or anything like that. Cindy is absolutely right. We have no idea how many numbers were affected. But as Blake and I have said in the past and telling the story of why we got up and, and started this project is we knew there was an interruption in people's routines that hit us heavily. Because I don't know about you, but I spent like two or three days combing through all of those messages. Um, well, a year ago tonight is when I started. I assumed most of you were lying, but I appreciated the sentiment of the uh, in the end. How, however, it uh, it motivated you to to write in. We appreciate it, and as great clips say it themselves, it's going to be great.